Being a non-engineer, if there has to be that one section in CAT that has haunted me the most, it's definitely DILR. And it's quite clear from my CAT 2024 DILR percentile, which was just 66. DILR wasn't just a weak point for me, it was that section that made me doubt whether I could even crack CAT with a top percentile or not. But after analyzing the DILR section of CAT 2024, I got to know that a 95 percentile was achievable at 27 marks, which meant solving 9 questions correctly. And in CAT 2023, which was a bit difficult than CAT 2024, a 95 percentile was achievable at 18 marks, which meant solving 6 to 7 questions correctly. So, what I got to know over here is that just by solving one and a half set in CAT 2023 and two sets in CAT 2024 correctly, one could have easily crossed the 95 percentile mark in DILR section. But this time my plan is to score above 95 percentile in DILR and search my score above 99 percentile in both VRC and Quants so as to get an overall 99 percentile. So this time my target is to solve at least two sets correctly in the DILR section. Today I will be sharing the plan that I have decided to follow for myself to score 95 percentile in DILR and maybe you can follow it too. But before knowing the strategy, let us first know the syllabus of DILR in CAT. The DILR section mainly consists of two parts, DI that is the data interpretation and LR that is the logical reasoning part. Under the DI part, we have line charts, pie charts, bar charts, quant based DI, Venn diagrams, tables with missing values, table based DI sets and mixed graph. And under the LR part, we have sitting arrangement, concept of truth and lies, games and tournaments, networks and routes. Einstein and Arrangement Puzzles, LR based on picking coins, scheduling and puzzles. From CAT 2021 to 2023, the DILR section consisted of 4 sets with 5 questions each, totaling to 20 questions. But in CAT 2024, the pattern changed to 3 sets with 4 questions each and 2 sets with 5 questions each, making a total of 22 questions. Although CAT 2024's DILR section was on the easier side, but it would be better to practice difficult sets as well as CAT is highly unpredictable. So now that we have 6 months left for CAT, here is the strategy I am planning to follow and you can too. LRDI is all about pattern recognition and hence my focus for June and July would be to first build my foundation and for that I will be solving previous year questions of CAT from 2016 to 2024 and get a basic knowledge about each of the topics. For the topics whose sets I am unable to solve, I would be referring to the videos and then practice 5 to 6 similar sets from that topic so as to get comfortable with it. Honestly, PYQs are the best resource for practicing DILR. I will be maintaining a notebook to keep a track of my everyday progress like in the first column, I would be mentioning the date on which I am practicing a particular set in the second column the topic to which that particular set belongs to and in the third column the time I took to solve that set. This will help me to know about my strength and weakness and will help me to be consistent. As I would be studying DILR on alternate days, my target would be to solve around 14 to 15 sets every single week that is 3 to 4 sets on weekdays and 4 to 5 sets on weekend. I would be initially giving 50 minutes to 1 hour to solve each of the sets on my own and then look at the solution. From August, I would start time practice of sets that is trying to solve the sets within a particular time limit say 20 to 25 minutes and start with LRDI sectionals as well. For practicing sets, I would be using Kraku daily targets and CAT study room which has around 50 plus sets per topic to practice from. My goal for this month would be to attempt 4 sectionals that is 1 per week as it will help me to know which set to do and which one to leave within the 40 minutes time limit. I will also try to attempt 2 full length mocks in this month as well. From here on, what I would be doing is, while watching the solution of the sets which I was unable to solve or solved but took more time, I would be noting down any trick or any new concept which will help me in the future sets in a notebook along with a puzzle topic and the source from where I am practicing and revise it every week. For September, my goal is to give 8 sectionals in total that is 2 sectionals per week and 4 full length mocks that is 1 every week and analyze it in the same way as I would be doing in August. For October and November, my goal is to attempt 2 full length mocks every week and 4 DILR sectionals overall that is 2 in October and 2 in November. I know many of you fear DILR just like me but trust me, to ace this section the only thing you need is consistent practice. 
Don't get demotivated if you are not able to solve a set even after practicing 50 sets or not able to solve a set even after investing 2 hours. It's normal, just keep on showing every day. I'm sure after practicing around 200 sets properly, we will surely see that improvement. Till then, just don't give up. Many have done and we will surely do. So that's the plan I've set for myself for over the next 6 months to improve my DLR score and I genuinely hope it helps you in some way too. Below, I have provided the link to the source from where I will be practicing different sets and PYQs. Feel free to mold this strategy according to your strengths and weaknesses. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video and drop a comment if you have any queries or if you are following a different strategy, I would like to hear about it too. And of course, if you want to stay updated with more such cat prep content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let's keep pushing, keep practicing and aim for 99% altogether for cat 2025. All the best for your preps. See you in the next video.